All right, guys, so in the seemingly ever continuing discussion of blade steel today we're talking about why sepia magna cut is not the future now when magna cut dropped about two years ago it was touted to be the perfect steel it literally had all of the attributes you wanted it to from stainlessness to edge retention to toughness at a slightly higher heat treat of 63 rockwell hardness this was touted to be the steel now here's a few reasons why i don't think magna cut is the future so the first one off for me in the biggest thing that i dislike about magna cut is in order to achieve the seemingly perfect balance of edge retention toughness all that these blades have to be very expertly like i mean very expertly heat treated and when we actually look at just about any blade steel under a microscope if you really look at it any blade can be pretty much just as good as magna cut with the right heat treat and so ultimately what it comes down to is there's been this large marketing push that magna cut is the perfect steel when in all reality steel is actually just about perfect with the right heat treat any steel for that matter now obviously this is 154 cm so it's not going to be the same type of level of performance as a cpm steel as a rule but what it really comes down to is performance is really lies within heat treat and so you can get great heat treat or great performance out of cpm 20 cv cpm s 30 v cpm crew wear um, any of them z wear it's just really the heat treat and so like i was saying the big problem with magna cut is that being that you really have to hone in on that 63 rockwell what we're seeing out of a lot of companies is that they are not heat treating their knives to that level or at least with the quality and consistency that would be needed or that we need to see to get optimal continual like by and large performance so let's say you know this knife is heat treated at 63 but the knife that you buy might be heat treated at 61 or 60 or 59 and we're seeing a lot of that coming out of unfortunately companies like benchmade where they do not want to spend the time and energy that it would take to consistently bring that rockwell hardness up to 63. now i can't fully fault them i'm sure it would be quite expensive to tool up to treat their steels in-house to that higher rockwell hardness but at the same time too because of that you're not really going to see in most general applications the actual performance increase that cpm magna cut is supposed to deliver and so that's the biggest thing that i have against magna cut and the thing i think personally the biggest thing going up against magna cut is the manufacturers themselves now the other truth that magna cut for me has been such a marketing steel like it's it's a, a steel that has been directly marketed towards knife makers and knife consumers it's not really a steel that kind of existed you know and then knives picked it up and used it something like s7 tool steel for instance but magna cut was directly created for knife makers and knife consumers and there have been other steels like that like cpm s30v but magna cut has had so much hype behind it and genuinely to be honest when you look at the actual data sheets things like aebl or nitro v once again with the key emphasis being with a proper heat treat perform at the same level of toughness and edge retention that magna cut offers oftentimes too especially in the case of things like abl you can get better or similar performance with a slightly less heat treat so something like a 60 to 59 hrc with abl is going to yield a very similar performance to magna cut but I think with slightly extra corrosion resistance could be wrong on that one it's definitely similar but uh yeah and so certainly this blade um is on par or in line with something like nitro v and or uh, abl so that's a very important thing to note and once again not saying that this steel is bad magna cut is a good steel i just don't really think it's as innovative as the hype train wants you to believe because genuinely there are a lot of manufacturers out there that are trying to get you to believe that nitro or magnet 
<laughs> that magna cut is the new steel it is the new gold standard for blade steel and it's not bad it's just not necessarily as good as everyone thinks it is because there's a lot of steels that genuinely perform darn near close to magna cut if not right on line with it so that's kind of why i don't think magna cut is the future um once again you know there's so many good steels out there that i just you know you're gonna be well off with any of the steels you choose for the most part lastly too i want to keep hitting this point because people ardently disagree but i genuinely believe that with most edc applications the extra performance that you see out of properly heat treated magna cut is not going to be a true like make or break kind of situation once again if you're just opening your amazon packages with your knife magna cut is not going to offer you any clear or defined benefits that something like 154 cm d2 or other steels that are supposedly lesser um, offer you know you're not going to see true performance fade you know on the same level uh, as someone who would be using the heck out of the knife now don't get me wrong like i said i do think that there are combat operatives bushcrafters survivalists outdoorsmen that may truly see the benefits of higher performance steels but by and large the average consumer will not see those performance gains and so honestly when it comes down to it i think it's really important to note this especially if you are more of a casual edc enthusiast don't pay the extra money to end up with a magna cut blade if there's a blade such as say this griptilian and 154 cm that will work perfectly fine like this blade will open packages just as well as this blade just as well as this blade just as well as this blade like that's the whole thing here you know if your tasks are rather generic it doesn't really matter as much now once again i will say i do like the hogue deca a lot because it comes in at a very affordable price range and i think that was one of the original kind of marketing points to the magna cut steel was that it was supposed to be a more affordable steel more affordable not super cheap um, that offered really good performance so if your knife if you're getting a magna cut blade like this deca for 127 to 120 dollars then i say go for it absolutely buy the magna cut knife especially if it's cheaper than S30V alternatives like the bug out, do it totally. But if you are faced with something like the new Buck 110 in CPM Magna Cut in titanium handles that is $400, don't do it. You will not see the gain in performance to justify that price. Anyways, guys, that's kind of my commentary on CPM Magna Cut. We're seeing a lot more knives coming out in CPM Magna Cut, so I think it's really like important or valuable to talk about like the truth of this steel. Um, anyways, guys, if you think I'm wrong, definitely let me know in the comments. As always, God bless, and I'm out.